Welcome to Great Neighborhood Cooks. I'm your host, Rob Kircher. Each week, I'm going to be knocking on the doors of amazing cooks who live down the street or around the corner. Who knows, maybe from your own neighborhood. For the most part, they're unsung cooks known mainly to their family and friends. Or they might be cooks from that great little hideaway restaurant that we love to discover. Either way, their relative obscurity is about to change as I bring them into the spotlight. So who will be the next discovered Great Neighborhood Cook? Well, stay tuned to find out. So who will be the next discovered great neighborhood cook? Well, I'm here in Bonita Springs, Florida, and we're about to catch up with the most charming woman who's also an amazing creative cook. Come on, let's go meet Maggie. Hey, Rob. Hi, Hi Maggie. You? Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. How are you? Wow, we got a bunch of people here, huh? Well, I hope I didn't surprise you, but we do have a few people over. I love surprises. Good. This is fantastic. Good. Let's go meet them. All right. So are these family and friends? They are. Uh, wow. We have some new neighbors. We've just moved down from Boston a few months ago, oh. and we have some new neighbors. We have some longtime friends, uh, college friends from up north. So we they're have, all here to cheer you on, they're right? They're all here to cheer me on. <laughs> well, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Okay, let's go in the kitchen because I want to sure. hear what you're going to be making. All right. Well, tonight we're going to be making popovers and lobster stew. Ooh. And the recipes are from the Jordan Pond Tea House in Acadia National Park up in Bar Harbor, Maine. Really? Really? Is that how you pronounce Bar Harbor or the Bar Harbor? No, it's Bar Harbor. Well, okay, it yeah, depends right. on where you're from. But yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we have gone to Bar Harbor for years. My husband has gone there since he was a teenager, um, me not long after that, and we raised our three children going up there probably for 10 or 15 years. We went wow. there every year. Every year that we got the chance, we would go up there. So this is one of those signature standbys, right? It is, it is. Wow. And it's a family favorite. We have it at the holidays almost every year. So what do we do? What's the, uh, I see you got these wonderful little notes here. Is this the original recipe that you have down here? That is my recipe, and as you Look can how see, cute this is. isn't that amazing? I love that. Well, it's and you got quite, a lot of little uh, watermarks. Yes, and stuff because here. it has been used so many times. So um, popovers, there are very few ingredients. There are five ingredients to them, um, and they're they can be a little bit tricky. I think improved my recipe. What's the major recipe. number one tip or trick to making these popovers? Don't open the oven door when they're in there. <laughs> they, the pop that's, over a, that's a very good tip. Can you show us how you actually uh, sure. make this? Yes. I'll, I'll hold it. You want me to hold the recipe for you? <laughs> no, okay. Sure. All right. So, five ingredients, which I believe are up on the website. Right. This is actually all-purpose flour, and I've made them with both, uh, bread flour and all-purpose, and both seem to work out very well. Okay, well, so, let's do it. Let's, all right, here we go. Watch you do this. Now watch this very carefully, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is genius at work over here. Look how well she opened that egg. I mean, isn't it amazing? Give that egg a good whack. <laughs> okay, so now you, there's a lot of um, mixing involved in this. Uh, for the eggs, we're going to beat them for three minutes um, at high speed. Um, and we want them to be uh, a lemon yellow color and thick. So the so, first thing we need to do is plug it in. That's a good idea. Now, is, we'll do that right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's one of these little child It's one things. of the child proof ones. Oh, okay, well, I may need help with this. I'm not sure. There we go. There we okay. go. All right, three minutes. So, Maggie, our three minutes are up, right? Yes, they are. And so now uh, we add the milk to the batter. And we are going to, the, the recipe calls for one full cup of milk. And we're going to add half a cup right now. Oh, can I help you a little bit? Sure. Oh, wow. Okay. It, add it very slowly. And okay. we're doing this on the and you're slowest speed. Them adding? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Very slowly. I like helping. We're going to add so um, the dry right? ingredients. All right. Yep. So this is the flour. Yep. Is that good now? Uh, yes, that can go in. Yep. Again, very slowly. Very slowly. Yep. Okay. All right. Then you get into what, a little pinch of salt and a little pinch of your baking soda. Yes. Correct? 
So our seven minutes are up, right? And we're yes. going to strain the, the batter now, correct? Exactly. All right, and the purpose of straining is, is what, Maggie? It's just to make sure all the lumps are out. I mean, it should be after seven minutes, I would hope that it's out. Okay. But we're just making sure. All right. All right. Okay, I can take that out of your oh, way. Thank you. All right. Can I pass you this too? Sure, thank absolutely. You. Perfect. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is um, you can either use popover pans or you can use uh, muffin cups. And, you know, most everybody has a muffin cup. This is a cool muffin cup. Oh, thank like you, yeah. thank you. Um, and so, so you spoon it in. Well, I do because I'm afraid I'm gonna ah, make yeah, a little mess. Make huh? a little mess. So, now these, uh, when they're actually popped open to their, uh, I guess their finished state, they're large, right? Yes, they are. Yep. Okay. That's one. Beautiful. All right. The next thing is what? Next thing we do, we let it sit for an hour. These have been sitting for an hour. And so now we're going to pop them in the oven. Uh, they will be in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. And then we're going to turn them down without opening the oven to 350. So can I help you here, Maggie? Well, you, may, you can hold the pan. Okay. The next step is very easy. We are going to saute the lobster. So we've melted the butter. And now we're just going to pour in the lobster. Wow, that's a lot of lobster. That so is what a lot do you of have here, like uh, two pounds? About two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so let that do its thing, right? Yes. Okay. All right. All right, let's turn our attention over here to the actual, uh, I guess, the, the cream mixture you're making. Right? Exactly, right? yes. And this now, will make the broth. Okay, now you had some problems trying to find light cream, correct? I did. So, so the recipe calls for two cups of light cream and two cups of half and half. And so what I did, because I couldn't find light cream, um, what I'm trying to do is make a mixture that will have the same fat content. Right. Um, for example, um, half and half has a 12% fat content, light cream has a 16% um, fat content. So that's what I'm trying to duplicate. So okay. heavy cream has got a 38% fat content. 2% milk has two. So we're going to take this, cut it in half, and I'm hoping that will be yeah, the... I love this woman. She's fantastic. This well, is great. Okay. Putting, putting my math to work here. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. We're going to be combining, um, you know, equal parts. Thank you. If we do this properly, it's going to come to exactly the consistency that you want, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Right. All set. Now, Maggie, this is so exciting. Look wow, at, oh look my at them. goodness, look at that. We'll see how long they stay puffed up. We'll see if the system works. Wow. <laughs> if they look and taste as good as they, I think they're going to, it's going to be a masterpiece. <laughs> wow. Now we know why you go they like popped. every other one, because yeah. they, they really rise up, don't they? Yes, they do. That's amazing. Yep. And I think we need to do something with our lobster, right? We do. So now we've come to the point where the, the cream mixture is scalded, and we're going to add the lobster to it. Okay. So. Can I help you with that? Sure. Do you add it slowly or? Um, yes, slowly. Okay. Well, mostly because we don't want it to splatter right. too much. All right. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. All right. Get every one of that last little amazing tidbits in there. Yes, you do not want to waste not one, okay. one bit of that. Okay. I'll get this out of our way. Okay. Ooh, so now look we're at that. Now you want to add in. your white pepper, yep, right? we're going to add a little bit of white pepper. Okay. It's white pepper to taste. All right. Actually, we can shake that in. Oh, can you? Okay. Yep. All right. Do that. I'm one of those pincher guys. I just take a pinch. Oh, a pinch yeah. is good, too. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I think we could do a little more. A little more? All right. You're a woman after Good. my own heart. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. So, are we ready to eat? We're ready. Let's I'm do ready it. if you are. I'm ready. I'm totally right. ready. Okay. We have these cute little bowls over here, too. All right. Wow, look at that. The flavor and the aroma is absolutely out of sight. Okay. We're okay, good. I'll take them over to our Thank you. Our table over there. All here, right. right? Before we start to enjoy this amazing meal, and I want to, believe me, dive into it really quickly, but I think our, our uh, visitors would be very interested in 
your background because I know you're a career woman I and you've recently sort of retired, I guess, right? Kind of. But you're doing, kind of, but you're doing something I think is very interesting. Tell us about your blog. Well, I am starting a blog and it's called Finding My Piece of the Puzzle. And what it is, it is kind of like this show. Um, it's a conversation that you would have with a friend in the kitchen, over dinner, over wine, um, and talking about things that matter in life. Um, different transitions that you might be going through and... So if I can kind of boil this down with open yep. intended, Sorry. it's sort of like the life in the times of Maggie, right? Well, but on a broader scale. On a broader scale. Right. Right. Wonderful. That sounds so interesting. Thank you. Folks, you want to follow Maggie as uh, she continues with her blog. But right now, let's have some of this amazing. That sounds great. Lobster stew. Okay. And we're, here, let's do a little toast because I always like to oh, first. fantastic. So here's to you, Maggie, and thank you so Here's much to you. for, thank you for inviting us on. into your lovely home. Thank you. And your amazing friends that you have here that sure you want. Well, thank you. Okay. And in addition to thanking you, I would like to thank my husband, Mike, for... <laughs> he, this would not have happened today without Mike's help. I so. think uh, I think every woman would uh, has a little envy right now because they, they all would like to have a husband wife as a as a good shoe set, right? Uh, to learn more about Maggie and to be able to download her recipe and also learn about her blog, I'd like you to go to our website, which is www.greatneighborhoodcooks.com. I'm sure the lobster stew is amazing, but is I'm good. really curious about these popovers. Folks, that's uh, prize winning. There's no question about it. <laughs> they are amazing. Well, if you like the way they taste, I can tell you, when you make them at home, if by chance they deflate, um, they still taste good. They don't look as nice, but they still taste good. One, two, three. Two, three. Here we go. Let's Thank you. It. Wow, that is amazing. Thank that you. Is amazing. Thank you again, Maggie. Thank you so much. All right. Hey, look, come on. <laughs> oh, kids on the rocks again. Hey, you kids can't play here. Not fun. <laughs> Fun. Galisano Children's Museum of Naples. Fun. At the Roma's Gourmet Market and Restaurant, they do things differently. They do it the authentic way. For example, why is their fresh homemade mozzarella the best you've ever tasted? Well, take a look at this. Well, it's because it's made slowly and lovingly. The way it's been produced for generations. It's the same with their incredible custom blended Roma wines. They go hand in hand. The art is in the pairing, like everything else thoughtfully prepared at Roma's Gourmet Market and Restaurant. It's Little Italy at the Promenade in Bonita Springs. Thinking of updating your kitchen? Don't just replace, create. Let the experienced craftsmen at Kitchens by Ambiance create a space that will truly impress. Create a kitchen with Ambiance. Kitchens by Ambiance. Visit our showroom in Bonita Springs across from the promenade on Tamiami Trail or find us online at kitchensbyambiance.com. On September 10th, 2017, Hurricane Irma unleashed her fury and powerful winds on Southwest Florida, leaving many homeowners in a state of dismay. I was one of them. Days turned into weeks and that turned into months. Among the maze of promising roof contractors and so-called experts, one company stood out, ACC Mastercraft. And I want you to do me a favor. Folks, contact them. They're on Trade Center Way. They are unbelievable. They do two things that I was blown away by. One, they believe in service. And two, they believe in helping you. Can you imagine that? It's true. Contact them. It's the best thing you can possibly do for yourself. And when you do, I want you to call me and let me know how you make up because they're unbelievable. Seriously. 
Moran Edwards Asset Management Group of Wells Fargo Advisors has 25 professionals dedicated to attentive, personalized service. Our team's credentials cover a wide range of advisory disciplines, and we've been helping families and institutions invest to achieve their financial goals for over 30 years. Call 239-254-2200 or visit moranedwards.com for a complimentary consultation. Moran Edwards, passionate, personable, performance-driven. I've been suffering from hearing loss as long as I can remember. It used to be I couldn't hear people in crowded rooms. Now I can't hear people in any situation anywhere. That's severe. Finally, I decided to do something about it, and I went to Beltone Five Star Hearing. I've been in this industry since 1972, and uh, helping Rob was a, a wonderful thing. I wear the same hearing aids, and I'm excited about how much they help me. Um, I, I have just a, a super high frequency loss, no low frequency, and I'm able to hear and understand my wife clearly. I started with Beltone in 1972. Uh, I've been, had 20 years with Beltone off and on over the years, and they are the, the leaders in the industry, and far none. You get service, and uh, there's 1,600 uh, facilities in the country and there's a, a bell tone nearest you. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call your local bell tone dealer for service. So just come see us. It's, it's free just to have an evaluation. These hearing aids that uh, I just love them. I absolutely love them. I'm here at Jerome's Gourmet Market and Restaurant. It's an amazing destination in Benita Springs, Florida. Everybody's aware of it. And we're gonna catch up with Francis J. Cuomo. He's the owner, the visionary, and the inspiration for this amazing destination. Come on, let's go find Francis. Francis, and again about your wine. Well, yes. We were up at the banquet room uh, last week and we were talking with Kim. She was telling me how popular your wines are. Oh they yeah, we carry six varietals. We've had them since the day we opened. Yeah. We've been really blessed. Uh, Mr. Opici from Opici Wines was uh, kind enough to help us get that import-export license and uh, we put our label on six wines from Italy and tell you we sell it by the glass in the restaurant, by the bottle in the restaurant, by the bottle here and uh, we can't keep up. We're on our third or fourth container already. I can't. Are you really? I can't keep track. There's over <laughs> 2,000 cases per container. So uh, wow. we, we're very blessed with that, yeah. Now we're plating the, uh, the antipasto, right? Yeah, actually, uh, at this point, we start plating the uh, meat Ooh, antipasto. Look at, that. look at that. Look at that. Blake oh, does an awesome job. Goodness. He's been doing it with me now for, oh, I'd say about three or four months. Wow. But puts the icing on the cake here. So then basically we uh, finish it off with a little balsamic glaze, our own balsamic glaze, a little bit of uh, uh, Parmesan cheese, and then over in prepared foods, they uh, put the finishing touches, a little basil on top, and that's the meat antipasto. <laughs> Here you go, Blake. That is incredible. And then we'll do that. one with the vegetables now. It's a type of dish, you know, that you don't like meat. You can have, and that's what happened. People started asking, well, what about without meat? And it's, it actually sells two to one. Does it really? Two to one over the meat. No kidding. Yeah, in the summer. In the season, 50-50. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so, a wild. It is amazing. I mean, and you know, it's a good way to use product and keep everything fresh all the time, and that's our goal, you know? Always so, a plus. Yeah. Well, great. I can't wait to get to the restaurant, but before we do that, I'm going to go over and prepare foods. Sure, And uh, sure. talk about some of your branded foods that you've got, right? Branded and, products, uh, yeah. let's talk a little bit about uh, the online business. Yeah, e-commerce. We're going live soon. Yeah, right. we're, we're coming to the finish line. I love it. A long process, but we're definitely it. getting there. Right. So, excited. Let's, let's go on. Let's check sure. it out. And again, folks, we're early here in the restaurant. Yeah. Normally, this would be absolutely We have mod, a beautiful but... private dining room. I have to Oh, let's go look at that. Let's yeah, go look at that. A, believe it or not, this little room can accommodate 30 people. We do a lot. average party in here is about 24 to 25. Uh, we have three different menus that we accommodate, and you could create your own menu. But also, it's part of the dining room when it's not being used as an event. You know, folks, you I know, bet most is, of you don't realize that there is such a place as a private dining room. There is. There is. And, yeah. you know, you let's could let's open the doors. Well, let's go check this out. Look at this. Wow. And then you come in. Now, we could put a nice long wow. table down the middle. We can uh, oh. make it part of the restaurant. I love and have individual. We can close the barn doors. We have a area to serve the food through the other side, so you have privacy. If you want to put some videos on the on the screen, family photos for a birthday party, something. What a fun, great idea! What a great idea! We made it like a wine cellar room. We have our own uh, the wine, wine, wine barrels, like yeah. barrels as well. Oh my goodness! And um, 
This this one, when I saw it, I knew I was in the, the right place. That's my grandmother's name, Olympia. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so when I saw that, I said, that's it. That's going to be the first one in here when you walk in. <laughs> so why don't we have a seat over here next to the Entree Awards? Oh, and, yeah. Uh, the Again. cover that we had uh, mounted. What an have honor. A seat. What and an look, honor. Oh, my look goodness. Look what we found. Our homemade what do we got going tiramisu. Here? This looks like a tiramisu, right? Yeah, this tiramisu is uh, the best the best in the area. It's got to wow. be none better. Look at that. That's look for at sure. That. We sell more tiramisu than any other dessert. <laughs> really? Much. That's your yeah. number one? It's our number one dessert. Wow. Yeah. So. And speaking of number one, I've heard so many compliments from folks about um, one item that you have on your restaurant menu. And it's your seafood. It's a seafood medley, I believe. Yes, yes. So we make they, a, a, like a pescatore uh, traditional uh, I just dish. rave about that. It's amazing. Uh, and lobster. We run, we run a lot of specials with fresh fish and lobster. But uh, when we do that, it's on a huge platter with linguine, with the actual whole lobster and the seafood medley in people it with a Fra Diablo it. sauce or a white sauce. You, you choose. And people love it. And let's talk about this amazing honor that you have over here. Sure, sure. Well, this became a new wall for us. Uh, this is our executive chef, Roberto. Um, he does a phenomenal job, as I said before. Yeah. Uh, this is an article. This was the uh, inside of the magazine of Entree, and we actually got the cover of Entree, which is a, a yeah, great yeah. honor. And very and difficult really, to get, by the way. Very hard to get, yeah. and uh, we're blessed to have that. Yeah. So we take that, and we pass it on to people so they know you know that eat here and hey listen look where we're at yeah you know amazing. and you're sitting you've in the come restaurant. so far francis thank you in four years i mean it's yeah. just uh it takes time you know, the fifth anniversary i know is coming up but that's, uh, uh, that's going to be a big yeah that'll be but a big <laughs> one yeah, let's get through the fourth one first yeah you know what i'd like to do i'd like to just take a little quick walk through the restaurant if we can sure get a walk by the bar get a sense yeah. for uh the restaurant and so on absolutely and, uh, a couple of different you know points of view because sure. it's such a great place here folks and uh, no matter where you look, it's just a, it's a, it's a an aesthetic experience. There's yes. no question about every it. Every inch, every, every angle, inch. every inch yeah. was thought out very carefully. By this guy right here, by yeah. the way. Yeah, well, yeah. a lot of sleepless you nights. Must have, I was going to say, you must have had uh, a lot of paper and a lot of pencils and pens. A lot of sketching. And a lot of sketching. I do, I and do. And moving Actually, things I'm an artist, around so until I you got to that point. my own sketches. Where, yeah. yeah, until it became, you know, yep. a really workable And thing. a tape measure. <laughs> I had to make sure everything worked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, it's a chess game, you know. You got to think three, four, five moves ahead. Yeah. You well, really let's walk do. through the rest of the restaurant. You're gonna leave without a bite of tiramisu. Oh, how I'm could you? I'm gonna do it right now. Here's your spoon right there. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, okay, good. Enjoy. You gonna join me? No, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> oh my God. The consistency is important with the mascarpone and the whipped cream. That is. Out of sight, congratulations. Oh, my friend. thank you. Thank that you very much. That is a killer, folks. And that's why it's number one on his dessert menu. It I can is. see that. It is. Yeah, I'm very friend. proud of them for doing that. Wow. Thank well, you. let's look around. Yeah. You know, Francis, you have so many hearts, and I'm going to use the word hearts to, sure. uh, to Jeromo's uh, because it's such an amazing destination. Um, every one of these is a heart. We just left one. We're going to find one over here, which is where you actually have all your branded products, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and again, uh, we carry over 100, and now we're up to about 120. Uh, De Romo's branded products. People start asking for them. Yeah. And they come from, if they're from uh, Ohio, Chicago, New York, California. And then when they go home, they say, how do we get your olive oil? How do we get your balsamic vinegar? How do we get your antipasto, your, your olives? And we started uh, thinking about that. So we said, why don't we you know, go on to e-commerce? So we're partnering with Amazon, obviously. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be distributing products all over the country. So it's, it's creative ideas using our own products you know, throughout the whole operation, even in the antipasto, that's our own balsamic glaze, it's our own olive oil, you know, and that's what makes a difference. I would, that's I why would, you can't go somewhere else I was and just get gonna say that. Product. I was gonna say that. What you have is, is really signature items, if yes. you will, that are yes. so customized to your uh, wonderful market here Absolutely. is that you can't find it any place else. <laughs> we try to educate people, as I said. We try to have a fun experience with them, and that's what we do. You know what, and I hear that so many times when people come here, Francis, they say, yeah. We love going to Deromas because it's so much fun. Yeah. Every time they go there, it's something new, it's exciting, and it's a destination. Yes. I keep saying that. It's, yes, it's no true. question about it's it. It's true. We put our heart in it. Yeah. As you can as you said before. Right. You know, There's it's a lot of heart issue. to this place. There's a lot of heart in here, a lot of passion from everybody. It's not just me. I take my passion, I pass it on. And I have great managers and great employees throughout the operation. I always talk about them. Yeah. I always tell you without them, I, what do I have? 
let's just go over the hearts because you have a lot of hearts here. You have obviously the gourmet market, right? Yes. And, and you have the restaurant. Yes. And you have the pastoria. And the gift shop. And the gift shop. And, and you also have the banquet room. And the catering. And All the catering. catering. And you know, soon to have gelato. So we ordered a gelato case. Wait a minute, wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, we're new. doing you're gelatos and sorbets. This is a surprise, okay. Yeah, I tell you, I don't sleep at night. You, <laughs> have, to, you have to keep moving, you know. Gelato, I love yeah, that. Yeah, fresh gelato in our bakery and coffee bar. You'll be able to come over there and get about 12 varieties of sorbets. You know, one of the problems you have is you're out of room here. Yes. So where do you put yes. these things? I mean, You know, you got to be creative even with space, <laughs> not just with food. For me, I like to see everybody walking around on a Saturday eating gelato, right? <laughs> I, would, I would definitely be one of Either that. that or a pepperoni popper, one of the two. <laughs> so you want to go to the restaurant and just uh, talk about You know, about right through that door is a 350-seat restaurant. 350 uh, seats. You know, restaurant. with the cafe, of course. Yeah, and yeah. I'll tell you, what happens on that side of the world is amazing. I mean, that's a, that's a core of this business, you know, because you got to think about all the fresh products that come out of the market that we, we roll into our menu items. All the steaks and the fresh seafood and fish and produce, everything goes to the restaurant every day. That's how we keep everything fresh. People say, how do you, what do you do with all the extra food? What extra food? And we, we fill those trays sometimes four or five times a day. I know, in it's the amazing. Bakery, in the bakery special. The turnover is just incredible. It, it is, you know, and again, filling up Yankee Stadium every 15 days, you know. Every 15 days. You know, that's, that's a, lot a, lot, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. A lot of people keep no it fresh about it. all the time. But the restaurant, getting back to that, you know, that's a that's a, an amazing uh, happening every night, every day, lunchtime, dinner time. It's, it's, next we're going to start doing breakfast maybe, I don't know. Ooh. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> no breakfast. That would not surprise me. We do me. breakfast that in the market. That would not surprise me. So folks, what you're seeing right now is sort of like the behind the scenes, if you will, yeah. of Deromos because yeah, it's, um, early, it's early yet and the folks haven't started to come into the market. But these are all the things that they do in preparation every single day to get to the point that they can offer all these amazing things to uh, the folks that just love coming. Yes, here, yes, and every day. Uh, more and more locals, which I'm really happy about. Yeah, I yeah. still get people that come in that live right, uh, right down the street. Say, I've never been in here. Say, we're going on our fourth year. You know, that's hard to believe. It is hard to believe. That is, and, but it's very true. It's very true. But we're happy to get them. And yeah. once we get them, we got them. Yeah. That's it. I keep saying this. Where do these ideas come from? But they oh, do. you know, I mean, they it, it's, it's just, it's just a combination, a consorted effort with all the employees and, and the managers. And, yeah. you know, one idea sparks another. You know what it's like. Oh, yeah. You put two personalities in a room, you have three, right? <laughs> when you put 10, you got 50 personalities. Exactly. You know? So that's challenging sometimes. And, and the employees that you have, I'm going to call them the staff, I mean, they're just so yeah, yeah. amazing people. They um, are. They are they're very all, accommodating. Uh, they're all just so inspired. Yes. Uh, I mean, it, it's not uh, something that uh, they're just putting on. It comes from the heart. It, the heart it's again. true. They, they are really they inspired really care. to actually do their best and bring yes. the best of Jerome's up. Yes. And every one of them is just amazing. They are. They are. And they're yeah. great, great with customers and with each other. They have a great time. Like they say, we're blessed, right? We are. Absolutely. That's right. Is that I don't know how you can actually reproduce this, but I suppose you Ah, it's very hard. This is the perfect storm for yeah. us, you know? Yeah. Nestled between North Naples, Bonita Springs, Estero, yeah. Yeah. growing areas, yeah. the promenade. It's very hard to duplicate. I got I to gotta tell you. It, it was always you. meant to be. Wasn't it, it is meant to be. <laughs> I, I really believe it was yeah. meant to be. Yeah. yeah. It's been a a great five years already. It took a year and a half to build and we were open, it's gonna be four years in October. So wait till our fifth anniversary. That's gonna be the big Ooh. party, but we'll talk about that in another about show. <laughs> I love it. started like three years ago. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> you know what I like about pink Himalayan salt? Okay, go ahead. Oh, right. 